Stefan is the OG influencer and the bubbly girl next door who either gets in your hair or makes you smile. Where does she leave and what has she been up to the past few years? Here we go, room to a no cap with Saffron Shark. So Saffron stayed in London for three solid years and after experiencing all that freedom, she still chose to come back and stay with her mother. It's that by choice. Let's find out. Ding dong! Hi guys! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode! Thank you! Thank Fourth you. times the charm! <laughs> hi! Hi guys! Yeah, hi guys! <laughs> yeah, hi guys! Come on in! Wow! It's very spacious! Yes, this is the living room. Oh, it's so nice! Yeah, my mom designed the place. She did the design for like the tiles and everything. Yeah, so basically there used to be a wall here. Mm. So she tore down the wall. So now the kitchen is very spacious. My mom usually bakes here. Oh, that's yeah, so my mom bakes. Ta -da! What? It's a sourdough. Nice! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's why uh, my mom spent a lot on the mm. ovens. I like to cook too. But you it's, do? Yeah, I cook quite often, but after I moved back, not so much. Because I'm mm. quite... I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm messy, but I'm messier compared to my mom. Mm -hmm. So like it's a point of contention, so we always like fight about cleanliness. Oh. So that's so why I try not to like get in her space so much. And how come you have books in the kitchen? Oh, it's actually cooking books. Oh. So it's my mom's cooking books, yeah. Oh. I want to take a look at this balcony. Yeah, let's go. It's bigger than my room. This is huge. Yeah, it's very, very big. And this is a very comfortable space. Can I just soak in some good vibes here? Yes. Oh. If I have... Like when my mom invites guests over, people uh -huh. always like chill here or mm -hmm. when I invite my friends also, they also love to hang out in the balcony. In all that time you spent in London, you must have experienced the full scale of what it's like to be free. Yeah, yeah, I miss being right? living alone. <laughs> yeah, living on your own, so yeah. independent. Mm. But after coming back, what made you decide to stay with your mom? Um, I guess like cost of living because Singapore is really expensive and I felt like eventually I wanted to have my own place so staying at home allows me to like save money to buy mm. my own place yeah so I'm aiming for like 30 I'm 26 now right yeah so four more years you got this yeah me. yeah she was quite reluctant um, of me leaving to London initially that's why I only went when I was 22 like now that I moved back she's like can you, can you just faster move out? oh really <laughs> yeah. She was like, please move out, because like, we keep fighting. Okay. Do you want her to move out? Uh, in a year's time, I think. <laughs> now she's on free rent. She's like most of the woke generation, they stay at home. So they can spend all their money on vacation, designer bags, good food, Michelin star, restaurants, and then don't pay rent at home. You know, isn't that true? That's I think most parents in Singapore has that dilemma like the, the kids back from graduation, they stay at home. It's nice to have them at home but at the same time, they don't pay rent. <laughs> so it would be nice if she moves out in a year. A year or two, yeah. Are you so cute! Yeah, me as a kid. How old were you? I think five. Oh, then what about this one? This was like when I was 20. Oh. We have a lot of holidays together. I mean, I haven't been on holiday with my mum for a while now, but before I moved to London, mm. it was quite often, like every end of the year. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mum loves to travel. Yeah. No, don't see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff Okay, here. tell me, what is this room all about? It's basically, it used to be her office, but it's okay. become my storeroom. Can I have a look? Yeah, yeah, come in if you want, I guess. Wow, there's a lot of like... Yeah, it's like a lot of work things. There. Oh, okay, so you have to. This is for sh like work, and this is stuff that I bought in Europe. Okay. Yeah. This one is all like loans and my luggages. Oh, yeah, so you have to return them. Yeah, this one I have to return. Yes, and like parcels that I haven't opened yet. Oh, but you have very old school cameras here. I used to own one of these. Shall we take a take a photo together? Sure. <laughs> nice. Oh, my first ever photo oh, is yeah. a one. Hey, cute eh. Hey, we look like that, like cute eh. Yin and yang. Uh, yeah. We got the same hairstyle also. Yeah lah. <laughs> Welcome to my room. Wow! Wow! <laughs> cozy! Yeah, it's quite cozy. How many pillows do you need? What do you I don't know. I don't know. I just have a lot of pillows. Can I see the wardrobe? Yeah, please open. Really? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Wow, it's really very organised. 
Yeah, because I don't really use this area. Like, I, these are all my jackets. So, who will wear a jacket in Singapore, right? So, it's barely touched. Yeah. I think for a girl, right, you don't have too many clothes. Oh, uh, they're still here. Oh, yeah. that explains it. Wow. This one is like very messy. It can't go open properly. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. How often do you wear this? These are the drawers that I use more often. That's why they're like a bit like all over the place. And as you can tell, it can't even open that well. It's very old. Uh. This cabinet has been here for like 10 years. Mm. Wow, are these all the accessories you have? Um, okay, so this I bought on Amazon in London. So this is one of the few things that I was able to bring back. And you said I have very little clothes, right? Because uh -huh. half my clothes is over there. Why? Because a lot of the stuff that I brought back from London are like coats and sweaters that mm. I don't wear. So my mom vacuum packed them and put it like in that room. Um. Yeah, so these are like stuff that I will wear more often. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yes, these are the accessories and basically like I put them into... Actually, this was my mom's idea, not mine. <laughs> Very good idea at that. Yeah, so it keeps it from oxidizing. It makes me more like wary of where I put my things. I always lose my jewelry. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's such a nice space here. Yeah. Can Thanks. I sit down? Yeah, sit, please sit. So how different is it staying in London versus Singapore? Living in London, I was like way more uh, aware of my surroundings. Mm -hmm. So in, I guess because London is not as safe as Singapore, right? So I was more aware of like when I was using my phone on the, while walking and stuff. So I won't do that. And like when I cross the road, I would like look at both directions. Like here, I just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> like very mindless here. London is also very big. So you spend a lot of time traveling. So that is like one thing that is great about living in Singapore is super convenient. Mm. Like for me, like when I first moved back, like uh, people were coming, ah, oh, thirty minutes is damn far. I was like, huh, thirty minutes is super close in London. Thirty minutes morning. Thirty minutes so far. Yeah, in London, thirty minutes is like bare uh. minimum. People sometimes take like forty to an hour to travel mm. somewhere. Yeah. So I'm sure that at this point you've been to London and you've seen so many different kinds of like properties or housing in Singapore. What's your dream home like? I actually like a lot of space. Mm -hmm. So every day I'll like manifest my dream house. My dream is to stay by the beach actually because I love the ocean. Oh, then mm. I mean then the I should closest live in you can Bali. Yeah. Uh, but okay, would you consider East Coast? Actually I really like East Coast. Mm. Uh, the vibe there is very laid back. Yeah. But, um, it's very expensive. Save up for a bit more, I'm sure you can get it. Uh, I was thinking if I save a lot of money, I might as well buy like a nice property in Thailand. Uh, but for investment wise, it makes sense to buy in Singapore. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm still undecided. Like, I'm still mm -hmm. quite young. Okay, so if there was a favourite item in my room, it would probably be my crystal corner. Oh! Yeah. This one? Uh, I mean, there are a couple. Like, I recently got into spirituality this year. So this year, because it's been like my healing year. Oh. But it makes me happy, okay? What so, I yeah. thought your old babe, okay? Yeah, yeah, Whatever yeah. Does. Yeah, so yeah. My crystals. Oh, nice. Mm. I mean, I've always believed that this is your room. You should put whatever makes sense to you and yeah. makes you happy. Yeah. I'm so afraid to drop this, okay? Don't worry. And we also have like my posters. So um, I've been collecting them since I was like 16. I like the one on the top right. The top right? Oh, I got that in Amsterdam. Oh, nice. So, kind of like my tattoos, they like represent a different point of my travel. Mm. That my mom got that for me because she said it reminded me of her. And this one also because I used to sleep in a lot. Oh, yeah. nice. And I feel like without posters, my room looks quite plain. So it adds mm. a bit of like character to the room. And a bit of flavor. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Speaking of flavor, I'm hungry. Should we go get a bike? Yeah, let's go. Wait. Just one time oh. down the block. I had one time for lunch. Okay, there's a thing about me that when I eat sourdough, right, I don't eat the skin. What? So sorry to. I but isn't that the best? Skin. Isn't that the best part? I. <sighs> okay, I'll, 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 I'll taste it. Like, that's crazy. Mm. I love the sourdough, the flour inside. Ah, okay. Um, not so much a skin kind of person. Wow, well, you're the first person I met who doesn't like the outer shell. Right? Very rare. So my friends love eating sourdough with me because... They eat them. <laughs> <laughs>